Welcome all you Sagittarians to your weekly energy update. And this is going to be focusing on the week of May 8th through May 15th. However, these are timeless. So if you're coming across this reading outside of that time frame, I'd still trust your intuition and watch the video because I'm sure there are messages there for you. If you are watching this during the week of May 8th to May 15th, happy Mother's Day to all of you who celebrate Mother's Day. It's uh, happening on May 8th today. And of course, that's for all of you who are mothers, um, you know, that actually mothered children. And then also those of you that mother and nurture others, regardless if you're male or female or how you identify. It's a great day to celebrate just that mother love that we can give to others. Also, at the end of this week on May 15th, we have the full moon in Scorpio, which is actually a total lunar eclipse. So there's this amazing full moon energy that's coming in for this week. And the moon is known as Mother Luna. So there's this definitely divine feminine energy that's just flowing throughout this entire week. So for this reading this week, we're going to be looking at how and where in our lives can we mother ourselves you know that self-nurturing energy what part of our lives can we do that and how and we're going to start off by pulling a card here from the crystal medicine oracle and a side note any of the cards i use in a reading i do list in the description box below and let's take a look here so far our sagittarians what would you like them to know about how and where they can mother themselves this week. Where can they self-nurture? Okay. One right there. And you have personal power. You have your power animal and chris chrysotile. Is that what that is? probably murdered that sorry that's a crystal and it's card number 20 so we'll put this here see what energy comes with this for personal power which of course this is really about taking your personal power for yourself i mean you sagittarians are such givers that you're constantly trying to help others and this is the time this week they're basically saying it's time for you to take some of that power back and focus it back into you so you have attracted this card into your awareness this week as you're currently shifting your personal power to a whole new level. It's time to connect deeply with the strength and courage of who you are, to step up and step out into this world to be the best version of yourself possible. Due to the range of different fears we experience in life, at times we can hold ourselves back. However, this card has shown up today to ask you to feel the fear and do it anyway. When you finally move forward in your power, you'll realize there'll be no more fear and you'll be fully in your power and manifesting your truth. So have you been feeling stuck or scared? Are you currently lacking self-confidence? Do you give your power away to others? Do you follow the crowd? These feelings and experiences are all part of your journey and personal growth. Know this is now the time to embrace your power and have the courage and strength to conquer anything that comes your way. You are a warrior of light and you are being invited to come fully into your personal power, which comes from a place of honesty, love and truth. It's time to trust in yourself and your choices as you stop handing over your power to others. That's what I was talking about, right? When you're investing your energy into a black hole, you're just wasting that energy, right? Trying to control things, trying to change people, trying to help people when they don't want to be helped. You know, there's all this energy that just kind of goes out there because we want to feel confident and secure and you might have this belief that if in order to be lovable and acceptable that you have to give to others and it's not true you are amazing just as you are if you did nothing for anyone else the rest of your life you would be an amazing individual still 
of course, you can't help but help others because as you find this confidence and power within, it fills you up and just naturally overflows. You can't contain all that beautiful energy that just fills you up. But the difference is, is when you give of yourself before you're full, you feel exhausted and you feel empty, you feel lacking. But when you contain and, and connect to this personal power that's connected to the unconditional love of the creator of all things, when you fill up with that power, with that love, then you feel whole and complete and then everyone else gets the overflow. So you never feel empty or like you're a sacrificial lamb sacrificing yourself for everyone else. And then you have the power animal here too, which is the medicine. And common knowledge between the tribes and medicine people of the world indicates that we all have a power animal or animal spirit that guides us through the spirit world and through life. And a spirit that offers us assistance energetically sharing its specific wisdom and medicine. Our power animal stays with us from birth to death and can be called upon any time. It is with us to teach us strength and courage and to connect with and embody our personal power. We also have many other animal spirits that come in and out at different times to guide us for particular parts of our journey. Each animal has unique energy to share with you. However, your power animal will teach you the biggest lessons and offer insight, support, and guidance. Your power animal can show itself to you in a range of ways, in your dreams, in meditation, in the physical world, and in trance journeys to the inner worlds. So call upon your power animal and work with this energy as you come fully into your personal power. Yeah, it's kind of like um, angels, right? We have a guardian angel, one that's with us for our entire existence. Um, and that's like the power animal. There's one that's with you from, from birth into death in this lifetime. But then we have all the other angels. We have all the other spirit animals that come in and out of our lives. They have expertise by their energies and who they are. And that, uh, you know, they come in and out depending on what's needed in our life. But this is like calling upon your personal power animal. I love it. We're also going to pull from the chakra reading cards here and just see... What chakra the creator would like you to know about that can help you with obtaining and, and acknowledging and filling up with the, your personal power. So for our Sagittarians, what else would you like them to know? You actually get two. So we'll take a look at both of these here. Yeah, you have creativity number 10, which tends is endings and new beginnings. So I like that. Let me just Make some space here. And then you have your inner child, which this is the heart chakra. So definitely you have this very interesting unfolding here. And I kind of feel that we will zero in on the inner child piece here. The creativity, they really wanted to have this one come in to emphasize endings and new beginnings. This, the uh, sacral chakra, which is the orange chakra, this is about your relation to one other. And this is this reflection. Our, any relationship we have, whether it's family, romantic, friends, work, strangers, whatever it might be, they are mirrors for us, always reflecting back to us what we want to see about ourselves until we see it. And so we will have these reflections that are coming over and over and over and over again. And they will help us obtain our personal power. Because it's funny that, you know, when we believe we are small, we will encounter people that will reflect back our smallness, our limitedness. And so, you know, if we feel we're unlovable, people will come up to us and show us through their actions or their words that, yep, you're unlovable. <gasps> no, it's true. Oh my gosh. You know, um, but if someone came up to you and said, I think you're an alien and you don't believe that, 
then you'd be like, you're funny. You know, you wouldn't have put any stock in what they were saying. So the only reflections that impact us are the reflections that we believe, right? And so there is this mirroring that's coming here, and that helps you gain your power by constantly pushing you to question that belief about yourself till you're like finally you like realize i know with like i had several days like a handful of relationships like five that consider long term anywhere between one and three years and and they were always showing me what i was feeling about myself like i said until i saw it and i was like wow so they were showing me by what i saw as disrespectful actions towards me either you know cheating on me betraying the relationship or how they spoke to me or how i felt used by them or whatever it was i was like yeah, they're disrespecting me disrespect disrespect look at disrespect everywhere and they were like hello and i was like no 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 i do not disrespect myself and then i was like oh i do don't i you know once I calmed down after that realization smacked me upside my head, I was like, okay, yeah, when I give up all my friendships, when I get into a relationship, I, you know, sacrifice all my income and charged up all my credit cards and co-signed on vehicles and did all these things to try to be lovable. And like, wow, I was cheating on myself with other people, trying to get them to prove my validity instead of finding everything I needed within me. I was giving my personal power away. I was saying, you get to define me instead of I get to define me. And so that's what's beautiful about this creativity card. And then they want me to read this one here for the heart chakra with the inner child. So you've called this card an energy into your awareness this week because it's time to create a more fulfilling, loving relationship with your inner child. Okay, that makes sense. Well, why they had me say all that other stuff. Each person has within them aspects of the child, those parts of us that can be vulnerable, misunderstood, unloved, not heard, and those wounded feelings we hold on to as children. When we take these experiences into our adult life, our connection to the inner child is sometimes forgotten. Have you been beating yourself up lately or been down on yourself and allowed people and situations in your life to affect you negatively? Pulling this card today highlights that you are currently reacting to a situation from the perspective of the inner child. Old wounds may be opened and you may feel trapped and confused. Know that it's time to give your inner child some love and care. Take some time to tune in to this wounded being who lies within you. Ask that he or she requires in order to heal. You may feel drawn to go and see a healer or to simply take some quiet time to engage in an inner dialogue with this part of you. Whatever is required, know it's a powerful time of healing and breaking free from these old restraints. It's time to set your inner child free and allow this aspect of you to feel safe, loved, and heard. It's time to be fully engaged and present with your inner child to allow deep connection and healing. Love, love, love is the key. It is also very important to allow the inner child out to play. Life can become so serious and we forget to play, create joy, and have fun. When was the last time you played and felt like a kid? What does your inner child want to do? Go play on a swing? Dance? Paint? Go to the beach? It's time to let your inner child express himself or herself with play and joy. And the affirmation for that card is, my inner child is free to express love and joy. Okay, so all that makes sense with all this self-nurturing. It's to nurture this inner child that felt it didn't get the love that it was uh, wanting and searching and for when it was younger. And this reflection, being able to reflect back and look at the mirrors that your parents and anyone else that created that pain 
you know, understanding that they were there on purpose for a purpose for you, that it wasn't happening to you and that you are the only one that can give yourself the love that you were looking for all along. Um, so I love that. We're also going to pull cards here from the tarot and to see what else they would like you to know about this week, Sagittarians. All right, so what else for Sagittarians, please? Okay, these two. What else? Okay, that one. So these two will go here. There's one here. And then what about these over here? Okay. <laughs> yep, and then two over here. Okay. So we will start with this one here. So you have the page of wands and wands is your drive, your ambition, your inspiration, your energy, your spiritual energy. And the page represents one piece of it is it represents new energy coming in. And that makes total sense. You're getting your power back. <laughs> it's all that energy that you were investing out here, trying to control these people, these situations, maintaining all those emotions and all that hurt that we had. It's coming back to you. And so it's no longer being invested in a black hole. It's being uh, pulled back into you and so you're filling up with it so I love that the other thing is that pages were messengers and because this is spiritual energy too this is just saying this week you're going to be getting a lot of messages from the spiritual world so pay attention to any kind of synchronicities and messages that come to you this week and you're not crazy you are actually getting those messages whether it's through a bumper sticker or license plate or a song on the radio or a rogue email, a junk mail, whatever it might be, pay attention because there's messages definitely coming for you this week. And then you have the Ten of Wands. So you have the Ace of Wands, not the Ace, the Page of Wands, um, and the Ten. The Ten of Wands is endings and new beginnings, just like this Ten here. And so all this energy that you've been investing that exhausted you, you're ready to let that go. The burden is done. <laughs> so these two cards here definitely are about the uh, lack of power or the burden of power that you were doing it, all that energy that you were investing out there. So the 10, then these are, uh, this is endings and new beginnings, and this is new beginnings of energy. So you definitely have, this is all about energy and power. I love it. Yeah, and then you have the full card. So this is new beginnings, new journey. So new perspective uh, represents your soul too, connection to your soul, which is really we're getting down into the inner child to your inner uh, experiences here too. But this is definitely another new beginning card coming in. And you've got, <laughs> yeah, the Ace of Swords, which would be new thoughts, uh, new uh, communications as well, because swords, swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations, also messages, and all about your thoughts. So this is definitely this newness coming in. The Ace of Swords, also in addition to connecting you to the upper realms, because it allows you to connect to the capital T truths of the higher realms. It also allows you to cut away the thoughts and beliefs that no longer serve you, which is what is being whittled down here. You definitely have endings and new beginnings, like here, 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 and here. So you definitely have this next level coming up here for you. And then your final card is <laughs> the seven, the chariot. This is your power of choice. And this is a great card to come up here because this really goes well with the mirroring and really gaining back your personal power. Because one of the most amazing awarenesses that can come in your life is when you can really grasp your power of choice. And that's what this card represents is your ability that no matter what comes your way, what faded event comes across your life, that you get to choose what story you apply to it and you get to choose what emotion you're going to feel through it. And I know when I first heard that, I was like, well, it really doesn't feel like I'm making a choice. 
But they were very gentle with me. Spirit sat me down and said, okay, let's watch the little clip. And I saw how they slowed it, go down frame by frame. And they're like, see right there is where you made the decision. And I'm like, well, how can that be? And then they showed me that back early in my life, I was conditioned that when this thing happens, this is what it means. When this thing is happens, this is what you're supposed to feel. And it was reinforced over and over and over again till it became my habit, then it became my reaction. And they showed me that with our power of choice, when we really grasp it and understand it, when we start to feel those old emotions, old ways of thinking around a situation bubble up, we can pause, take deep breaths, calm down, and in that calmness, we can then make a new decision. What do I want that to mean? What do I want to feel through this? And so you do have this power that comes back. And your fears of the future become less and less because you realize that no matter what comes your way, you get to choose what it means and you get to choose what you feel. So this power, this personal power, I feel has a lot to do with this power of choice that you're grasping. Then the final cards for your reading for this week are going to be from this Chakra Love deck here. And this is going to be the final messages that the Creator has for Sagittarians. Nope, they said none of those. Okay. There we go. Okay, they're in there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so let me just leave that out of the way here. And we'll start with this one because it showed itself. Yeah, meditation, to see more clearly, close your eyes. And it definitely talked about that in here, um, gaining your personal power. It's important for you to take time to connect to the spiritual realm, connect higher, take a lot of deep breaths, come back to the moment, try to stay in that meditative state. You also have the chakra balance. All things work best in conjunction with all things. When you choose this, when you have this power of choice, this is what we're talking about here. All things work best in conjunction with all things. It's like you realize it doesn't matter what things are unfolding and how things are, um, you know, coming together in your life because you get to choose what it means. And when you believe that all things work for you, that things don't happen to you, that's your power, right? Then you got signs. There will always be signs to guide you on your true path. And we talked about that here with this page um, of wands coming in here, that there will be signs for you this week. So just pay attention to those. Another balancing card here for your chakras, embrace the balance between earth and spirit. Yeah, understanding that there is this balance between the two that you always have a second choice. You know, when you only believe that when this happens, this is what it has to mean. You don't feel like you're in control. You feel like you're just, whatever unfolds is gonna determine. Whatever comes around the corner next is gonna define and determine your life. And you're like, no, 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 that's okay. I get to choose what it means, right? And then your final card is grounding. Sink, sorry, yeah, sink your roots deep. Connect them to the heart of Earth, right here on the heart chakra. So definitely connect to that beautiful love that exists so deep within you. Let that be your foundation. Ground yourself in that, knowing that every second of every day that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and father of all things, our creator. Let that be your foundation. So I love this week coming up for here for you. You really, you get your power back, which is wonderful. <laughs> I'm going to leave the reading there. If you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these weekly energy updates, I also put out monthly readings for each zodiac sign and a few other readings throughout the month or a few other videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button, also click the subscribe button that gives you access to this notification bell. When you go in there, if you select the all option, then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel. Also doing those things help spread the love and it actually helps my channel grow in very important ways because when you like a video, you share a video, you comment on a video or subscribe to a channel, 
doing those things helps the YouTube algorithm get very excited about the channel and it will share the videos of the channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, I am definitely grateful for that. Also, these are general readings. If you're looking for even more specific information for your specific life, I do offer personal readings and all that information is listed in the description box below. All right, Sagittarians, as you go through this amazing week, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. You have an amazing week. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. And in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.